All right, everybody. Welcome to the end of 2023 and welcome to my video. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, first off, let's start with our topic, Octopath Traveler. Okay, look, I know the second one came out. I don't care what you're going to say to me. All right, I just finished this first one. Okay, I'm not going to jump into the second unless the first one's done. So let's get started. There's so many things to be excited about here. I bought it many years ago, you know, just on the switch to past time during my travels. I'm sure many of you do the same thing, okay? There's no achievements on the switch. Guys, guys, fix that. Anyway, back on the topic. Don't get me wrong. I love giant games, but as I have grown into adulthood, I find myself running out of time to dedicate to games like this, okay? So let's skip to picking back the game up in 2023. I forgot how far I was in the story. I forgot how much grinding I had done to get to level 40, probably way too much, um, but it's okay. I love to grind. Um, the story is great throughout the entire thing. Uh, really, even though it's grindy, there's still a lot of chances to enjoy the story. Uh, they kind of push you through while you're grinding, so that I do enjoy. Uh, maybe I have a different perspective on it, but from my perspective, that's how I felt about the game. It felt wonderful to just jump back in and get back into the story and they catch you up if you have been gone because they knew you would be gone because this game is freaking long, guys. Um, now on to the characters. Let me rate the character stories in chronological order. Um, it's probably not chronological order, but it's uh, my. I'll start with my least favorites. I don't hate any of them. I enjoyed all the characters, but first off, Tressa. Now, now let me let me put a caveat here. Tressa is a monster. Okay, pump the scholar, pump uh, trade winds, put a nasty staff on her. Bam, gone. Okay, gone. One turn, pump that times four, delete anybody. All right. Um, it's not the fact that she's an airheaded blonde. Um, her story interactions need work with the other characters. But it wasn't the worst. Um, she just seems like the kind of character who was just thrown in there, you know? Because there's just so many good characters that have so many good backgrounds and complete stories. Let's get to Alfin. And this is where I really began to enjoy the game here. Alfin, the apothecary, huh? Um, he's got a big, big heart. And um, with good intentions sometimes can... Uh, cause bad things to happen. So uh, I'm not going to spoil any of the stories here. I'm just going to say that Alfin's character development is wonderful alongside his um, compatriot in his story as well. So get into that, pay attention to that, and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Now let's get on to Therian. Okay. Uh, I identify with this character very well just because of his edginess and whatever. Call me Edgelord Sasuke. Whatever, I don't care. Um, hopefully I don't get uh, copyright struck for that. I don't care. Uh, by the end of the story, though, his edgelord personality is softened a little bit. Uh, softened by a chica, I would say. But um, yeah, they don't show you the end of that. Uh, maybe they do an Octopath Traveler 2. Don't spoil it or do spoil it in the comments. I don't care. I'm pro I might not play that game. I may. Look, it was a feat to defeat this freaking Octopath Traveler game. It's not the difficulty. It's the amount of my life that I put into this freaking game, okay? I don't want to do that again. And maybe I do, but not right now, okay? Later. Okay, so let's get back to the characters. Now comes Hanit. Now that's the kind of, that's a bad girl. That's a bad lady right there, okay? That, shoot. I ain't going to say anything that'll get me uh, crossed up on the internet, but uh, she a baddie. Keep going though. Um, she is she runs the forest. They all listen to her, and she gets a tiger to bow down to her. So, uh, all I gotta say is, you keep that character around, keep kicking cans, and uh, yeah, she's awesome. Um, old Beric. I don't even have to say anything about this guy. Okay, he's your Chad. He's the ultra Chad, the typical badass. They deliver it well. He's got a partner that, uh, you know, kind of wishy-washy is what it is. Um, but, you know, I feel like old Beric is the one who's supposed to be shining here. So it's a good thing that they didn't uh, go too crazy 
with his um I, I, I don't know the name of the character right now. I'm blanking, but uh, it's good. I shouldn't remember that guy. I don't care about that guy. I care about Aubert. Okay? Whatever. On to the next. Moving on to Ophelia. I know what you're going to say. Oh, she's boring. Put the ball. Shut your mouth. Her story makes sense in the grand scheme of the story and ties into one of my favorites. And this is why it's ranked so highly. And we're hitting top tier here, people. And Ophelia doesn't really hit the top tier, but because of the integration into the story within the game, she is up there. All right? And now, Primrose, the reason that Hani is not up here. She is the badass lone warrior who's been through so much and just wears it and doesn't show it. And you know what that does to you people? It causes stress. There's no need to be like that. But uh, the circumstances that she was put into, I can understand that. And uh, there's a little bit of uh, Stockholm stuff going on there. And I won't dive any deeper. Um, but uh, it's an interesting story nonetheless. And then uh, this, this is my number one, guys. If you couldn't put it together by now, it's Cyrus. Okay? He is, he is the main. He's the main. That's all I get. He's the main. You learn so much about everybody else and the world, storyline villains, the secrets. You're getting into the secrets of Octopath Traveler, people. It shows you everything. He's got crazy voice lines for his attacks. Justice rain from <laughs> I can't even remember what it was, but that's what I heard every time I'm hurling fireballs at people. And it's amazing. Fantastic. Badass wizard. I put him in Scholar and Cleric, um, and there's nobody else I'd love to be hitting times four with than this guy when he's just, just as rain, blah, 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 or whatever, whatever he's saying, okay? It's awesome. It's freaking phenomenal, and uh, that's my number one, guys. I don't know if that's, like, everybody's number one, but that dude is due. Dope. 100. Seal of approval. Okay. Now, I did not touch on the classes too much here, people, but uh, they're interchangeable. It is a classic turn-based RPG with open-world elements. While the in-game system is not groundbreaking, it's a solid system that I enjoyed very much. And it allows you to swap through throughout the game if you feel you want to change things up. I have seen many critiques about how the stories do not come together, but I disagree on the sentiment. If you pay enough attention, you will notice that names cross over between storylines. And I believe they had a sequel in mind, as there is more to the story to discover. Obviously, as Octopath Traveler 2 has come out. I don't know how connected that game is to this, but uh, just saying, they left a little bit to be desired there at the end. And of course, any good story leaves room for a sequel. But um, all in all, overall, I would probably give this a solid 8.5 or a 9 out of 10, people. A nine. It's it's like scratching nine. Okay. Um I like the thief class, the hunter class, you know what? Cleric class. I, I like all of them. Okay. Using them all together with synergy, it feels like the synergistic effect is in play here. Especially because you can't spam the same classes. Imagine if you had four thieves, you probably losing. Okay, but there's a special place for a thief. I know people are probably thinking, oh, thief's probably the weakest class. Whatever. I I don't know. I don't care about your opinion. So quit whining. Get a day job. Or don't. And just get Octopath Traveler. Okay? And then lose your life. I promise you. I promise you. It's a guarantee. Your life will be absorbed. Okay? And then there will come a point, like I did, I stepped away. I was just, I was putting too many hours into this, man. And with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys off with those voice lines I mentioned about Cyrus, just so you can understand where I'm coming from here. There are a bunch of great lines that uh, go off during battle that just make your battles that much more epic. I hope you all have a great night. And you tune into the next video. Leave a like, subscribe. See you later. Oh, flames! 
Rage strong! Oh, ice, pierce them through! Oh, lightning, smite them down! So much to learn. A great inferno to scorch the land! A tempest of ice shall rage! Nothing will quiet the storm! Alafin, Lord of Learning!